ECDL Advanced Word Lesson 76 Recording a Macro A macro records keystrokes and menu selections then plays them back exactly as they were recorded. The use of macros results in the more efficient production of documents. Once macros have been created they can be used at any time in any document that uses the same template. A new macro can be created easily, but great care must be taken during the recording because each action taken is incorporated into the macro. We've been asked to create a new document. Select the View tab Click the drop down arrow on the macros button and select record macro. As an aside, storing the macro in the normal template means it will be available in all documents. It's also possible to store macros with the current document only, as can be shown. If we enter the macro name as landscape and in description enter change page setup and then click OK. At this point a symbol is displayed in the status bar indicating that a macro is currently recording. We'll also notice that the mouse pointer has changed to a cassette tape showing that the macro will now record all the actions performed. Another aside, while recording a macro some mouse movements will not be recorded. So for example when moving the insertion point around within the document or selecting text we have to use the keyboard. The keyboard must be used in cases like that. Next, select the Page Layout tab and from Orientation select Landscape. Select the Stop Recording button to end the recording and then close the document without saving it. Start a new document to create a macro which will add fields to the headers and footers. So again, select to record macro, name the macro footer and then click OK. From the insert tab, select header and then edit header. From the insert group click on quick parts and then field. At the field dialog box from categories select document information. From field names select file name and then click OK. From the navigation group on the design tab, now it doesn't mean the design over here, it means the design within the header and footer tools, click on the go to footer. At the cursor position, type in your name, then press tab twice to move to the right of the footer. Then, from the insert group, that's the insert group within the design section of header, footer and tools, insert a date. So we're going to go for date and time. And we want one that's a suitable format but that doesn't include the time. So I'm going to go for this one here. Next, 
close the header and footer and again this is from the design tab within header and footer tools right at the end you'll see close header and footer and then we wish to stop the macro so press the stop button to stop that macro now close the document without saving it we're now going to create a third macro which will create a table that will repeat its header row over several pages. So we need to start a new document and we're going to start a new macro which is called table header. So view macros record macro. The name is going to be table header, that's one word and then press OK. We're now going to use the Insert tab to insert a table, so Insert Table. And we're going to do five columns and two rows. Across the first row, we're going to put in the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We wish to select the first row. To do this, use the Layout tab. That's the Layout tab from Table Tools. And we're going to select Row. We then want to center the text and make it bold. Next, return to the Layout tab again. And from the data group, select the option to repeat header rows. That's over here. Next, we want to launch the table properties dialog box, which you'll find over towards the left. Now that we have the dialog box, from the row tab, click next row. We're now looking at row 2 and we want to specify a row height of 5 centimeters. So specify height and then 5 centimeters. At that point stop the recording and then press OK. At that point press the button to stop the recording so the macro will now stop at that point. If we then, from the View tab, click on Macros, and it will show us the macros that have been created. We created one called Footer, we had Landscape, and we had Table Header. Finally, for this lesson, cancel the dialog box, and we want to close all documents without saving. OK, that's it for this lesson. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you next time, where we'll be learning about how to run a macro.